This is Dr. Diana. I like to give microscopes to young and old alike for any gift giving situation. However, if you're looking for a cool new microscope magnification tool, I would suggest that you look at the Eyeclops by Jack Pacific. And that's the toy that I'm going to be reviewing today. The Eyeclops comes boxed in this package here. It comes with a 16 page detailed manual that I was quite impressed with. It also comes with a viewing tube and a petri dish. Eyeclops consists of the body, the battery holder, and two wires. This wire gets plugged into your video in and your TV. It requires five AA batteries, very simple to install. And basically what the Eyeclops allows you to do is you can take any item, live, non-living, wet, dry, and you put the Eyeclops directly onto the specimen, the item you want to magnify, and you will see it up to 200 times on your TV screen. It is so exciting. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you some items that will magnify up to 200 times using the Eyeclops. Wow! What you need to do when you get your Eyeclops, you're going to take your Eyeclops and you're going to attach this wire into your video, video in behind your TV or in front of your TV depending on what type of TV you have. And after you get your Eyeclops plugged into your TV, into the video in, you turn it on right here at the switch box. And what we're going to do is we're going to begin magnifying. So the first thing we're going to magnify is I'm going to magnify a piece of snake skin. So here's the snake skin right here. And what you need to do is you're going to take your Eyeclops and you're going to put it right onto your object. And you can see there is the snake skin that's being magnified 200 times. By the way, this is rattlesnake skin. The next object I'm going to magnify is going to be a leaf. And this happens to be a plumeria leaf. And so I've taken my eye clops and I'm going to put it right down on the leaf being magnified. Now I'm going to flip the leaf over and let's look to see how it looks from the underside so we can see all the veins. And there's the plumeria leaf being magnified 200 times with the eye clops. The next object I'm going to magnify will be a peacock feather. So I'm going to place the eye clops directly onto the peacock feather and there is the peacock feather being magnified with the eye clops. Pretty cool. The next object I'm going to magnify will be a piece of marine sponge. So I'm going to place the eye clops directly onto the marine sponge. And there is the marine sponge magnified at 200 times magnification. Okay, the next thing I'm going to look at is my pet tarantula molts. And so I'm going to look at the exoskeleton, the molt of my pet tarantula. And I take an individual leg of the tarantula and magnify it using the eye clops. And so there is the leg of a tarantula, the molt of a tarantula being magnified 200 times with the eye clops. Next thing we're going to look at is some sand, it's just some regular beach sand. And so I'm going to place the eye clops directly on top of the sand. And there is your sand magnified 200 times. The next thing I'm going to magnify will be the eye of a horseshoe crab. I'm going to put the eye clops directly over the compound eye of the horseshoe crab. The, the horseshoe crab is a compound eye just like many of your insects have. Here is the eye of a horseshoe crab being magnified. The next thing I'm going to magnify will be the fur of my pet rat Pluto, which is a Russian rat. So here we go, we're going to put the eye clops directly onto the fur of Pluto, my pet rat. It is Pluto's tail being magnified. Oh, Pluto, your hair looks so interesting underneath the microscope. 
using the eyeclops. There is a penny being magnified with the eyeclops 200 times. What we're going to do is we're going to magnify some sugar crystals that you're probably using this time of year when you're making sugar cookies. And one thing I noticed that on some items I had trouble focusing, so I put the iris off, and you may find that this is, makes your focusing a little bit easier. So if you have trouble focusing, you can actually take the iris off the eyeclops, and I found this actually worked better for focusing certain objects such as sugar and salt and sand. So I'm using the eyeclops right now without the actual iris. I'm going to magnify using the eyeclops will be some sea salt, and so I'm going to place the eyeclops over the sea salt that's been placed into the petri dish. And there is your sea salt that's being magnified with the eyeclops. After testing out the eyeclops by Jack Pacific, Dr. Diana definitely gives it the thumbs up seal of approval for this holiday season and many more to come. I guarantee you that anyone that gets the Jack Pacific eyeclops will be entertained and fascinated for many years to come. Wow, I think I know some nieces and nephews that might be getting the eye clops this holiday season. Shh.